Hello and welcome to The Update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. The number of COVID cases in New South Wales shows no sign of slowing down, with the state recording 345 new cases today. Premier Gladys Berejiklian says two more people have also lost their lives. Both men in their 90s, both had uh, a level of vaccination and our uh, deepest sympathy and condolences to their loved ones. One gentleman had had one shot of the AZ, AstraZeneca, and the other gentleman had had both doses of Pfizer. The ACT's COVID-free bubble has burst with its first local cases in more than a year. The Territory now plunged into a snap seven-day lockdown. Victoria had 21 cases, while 10 cases were recorded in Queensland, but they were already isolating. The South Australian government is under pressure to reduce the quarantine period to be served by our athletes. SA-based athletes will have to serve 14 days isolating, despite already spending a fortnight in Sydney hotel quarantine. AOC Chief Executive Matt Carroll says they're not seeking any special treatment. But what we're saying today is there a possibility that the South Australian government could look to reduce the quarantine period for this fully vaccinated, fully quarantined group of Australians returning after representing our country at the Olympic Games. A Tamil family hoping to avoid deportation and return to central Queensland has been dealt another legal blow. The High Court has denied them permission to apply for a protection visa for their youngest daughter. Briefly, Uber has been fined $200,000 and hit with 13 infringement notices after a safety audit by transport officials. A powerful magnitude 7.1 earthquake has struck off the Philippines and richer Aussies are living up to six years longer than those less fortunate. A study finding men in the top 20% wage bracket are living almost six and a half years longer than men in the bottom 20%. The gap is four years for women. In sport, the AFL has granted licences to the four remaining clubs without a women's team, Essendon, Hawthorne, Port Adelaide and Sydney, while the AFL is debating whether to scrap the pre-finals by to keep the season rolling, with a decision to be made during the last round of the home and away season. And in the NRL, Maroons winger Xavier Coates will return to the Broncos lineup tomorrow night against the Roosters. In entertainment, Lil Nas X has found love. The openly gay rapper revealing he has a new boyfriend after dating several emotionally unavailable men in the past. Selma Blair has reached out to Christina Applegate after the actress revealed she's also been diagnosed with MS. Blair offering love and support to her co-star. And Avril Lavigne has added her name to the long list of Olivia Rodrigo celeb fans. She says people like Olivia are giving an honest voice to young women still discovering themselves. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team, but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.